Hello everyone, this is Super Dimensional Bun. Today I'll be doing a build-up of Bandai's high-grade uh, 144 scale uh, Gundam Barbatos Lupus. So as you can see here, all the little parts laid out. Um, as usual, I've built uh, the left, well, most of the parts of the left side, just to save time. But yeah, these all the pieces all laid out and ready to be put together. As you can see, there's a lot. Alright, well anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright everyone, well, I'm going to start... I'm going to start off building the internal skeleton of this kit, uh, just so you guys can see what it looks like uh, after it's built. Um, so, let's go ahead and start with the torso. So we got two halves of the chest. and But first of all, you need to put in the collar. Okay, so there's a flat slot that fits in right there. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to put in poly caps. So let's get that out. Alright. Let's get that in there. Okay. There's the um, sockets for the uh, arms. That upside down. And there we got the two halves together. All right. Let me get to see if I can get better lighting for you guys. Oh, that's probably not gonna last long. Okay, next we got the connector to the waist, so we need to pop this piece in. Not so much of a pop sound, I was hoping. Okay. Let's put in the um, poly cap for this piece here. Okay, what's next? Oh, the back. So, just connect this little guy here. I'll just show you some of the details. Some ribbed cables here. It just covers up this part of here, so it makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, nice and firm, and I. That's it for the torso. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the arm. So this is the arm, how should the arm should look like in the end. All right, next we'll move on to the arm. So this is the top part of the uh, shoulder. All you need to do is, oops, sorry. All you need to do is just pop these two together. Like so. That's it for that. Okay, now you need to put the lower part, well, the rest of the arm. So we got three pieces here. This is the part of the elbow that connects here. Let's go ahead and do that. And put these two guys together. There you go. This is just a cover on the back of the arm. I guess more uh, cables. With the little, I guess, piston on the end. Just double check. Yeah, that's that's how this one is. Last but not least, there is a cover on the back of the arm. That just pops in right on top of these cables. So as you can see, it follows the shape of the inner part already. So just pop that in. Come on. Okay, there you go. Kind of weird. I'm not sure how well it'll stay in there. 
Okay, um, next, oh, and then there's this extension part for the arm. Has a kind of a almost squarish peg here. Just pop it right in. And let's go ahead and put a hand in right now. Let's put the back cover as well. Okay. All right. And now we can now go ahead and connect the shoulder to the arm. And there we go. Right, and then let's uh, go on and move to the leg. So the instructions say to go with the, start with the foot. So here is a foot construction, the internal part of the foot, and the part that connects to the lower leg. So it, it is pretty unique. I've I don't know if Barbatos, regular Barbatos probably does the same thing, but I've never seen this with any high grade kit before. Let me just do that again. So you got the two parts. You slip it in. And then you connect it with a little click. And it's pretty firm. And it twists around so it gives it some articulation and whatnot. But there you go. Put that down for now and let's go ahead and work with the rest of the foot. So here's the top cover of the foot. And there's this part that you slide right in. So you can see there's guidelines and um, the pegs that fit in there. Oops, got that backwards. So you put it in this way. You slide it. In. If you could only get that in correctly. Okay, here we go. There you go. Pop it right up. And now you can turn it over. Oh, whoops. I need a poly cap. So. Come on. Okay. So. Go ahead and put, slip the poly cap in here. Put a little angle into it so you can easily put in the foot. All right. Um, so this top part just fits right there. No, I'm not going to put it all the way because I plan to paint this thing. Okay. So that's the front part of the foot. Now the back part. All you do is pop this end right into the back. One thing that kind of bugs me about this is there's a lot of hollow hollowness, but I guess that's what you get for only a thousand yen. Okay, so now here's this flat peg. You just pop that into the poly cap, and there you go. Now it looks like it, it's not quite right, but this is how wide the foot is. It's kind of strange, but uh, we'll see how it looks like in the end. All right, now let's go ahead and work on the leg. So. First things first, here's the two halves of the leg. Just go ahead and put that in. So you got cables. Alright. Now let's go ahead and get the knee in there. 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 Turn this around. So it looks like there's a little piston right here as, as well. There. Okay. Next we'll go ahead and uh, work on the hip area. So there's poly cap. Pop that in right here. Make sure we're putting it in the right direction though. And for one second. Instructions. Oh, here he goes. Okay, yeah, I was doing it right. Okay. If I could only get in there. There you go. And you got this weird little cover. So here's the pig. And you got this little clamshell like piece, one that has a hole that fits into the pig. It's pretty cool how the engineers figured all these little tricks. So, there you have that part. Okay, now all you do is pop this, oop, pop 
pop this in. It's a little snap, and you got a leg. Now, here's the poly cap for the foot. You just pop, you just insert it here. Now, the front cover will um, secure this poly cap, but for now, since we're only going to show you the skeleton, just put that right in. So now you have two completed legs. All right, next we got the hip. So let's get to the hip parts. So here's the main internal part. Gotta make sure this parts, I guess, with the little cutouts so facing forward. Put the bottom part in. And this part is actually fits on the rear side of the skirt armor. So got this one wide peg that fits in there. Okay, and that's pretty firm actually. This part can twist a little bit. But that's it for the hip, at least for the internal skeleton part. The rest are all um, the armor parts. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, put this thing together. So here are the legs. Okay, the foot popped out, but that's no problem. Maybe I should have done that last, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. So here is the torso. I'm going to pop that polycap in. Alright. Let's go ahead and put in the arms. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. Okay. Let's get this back in. So, obviously, we're just doing this for display. Once we have all the armor pieces on, it won't be as flimsy. Now let's put on the head actually. Oh, yeah, the head. I need to use poly caps. Okay, that goes in there. And the face. So I painted the eyes just because once the armor's all on, I probably won't be able to reach it. Okay, let's put the feet back on. So, you probably don't want to play with it so much the way it is now. Just this internal skeleton, mainly because obviously it's, things are just falling apart. So that's just my piece of advice right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So, gee, I want to stay. Anyway, let's just not look at that. All right, kind of a fail, but anyway, there's a skeleton. It's pretty nice. Well, with the feet on it, it looked pretty large, but. Uh, yeah, that's proving difficult. I think we can just go ahead and put the armor on that. <laughs> so, well, just to show you guys the articulation really quick. So look, it has double jointed legs. Can it scratch his own back right now? Legs go that far. Pretty good. Nice right wide range. Uh, shoulders. These parts obviously get in the way. But other than that, oops. Yeah, not very good to play with this thing before it's fully built. If the armor would keep it all secure. But anyway. 
There you have it. Uh, compared to the Grim Gurdy, um, a little less stable, let's say. But uh, obviously, it was never meant to just be played with as just a skeleton. All right. Let's go ahead and finish this up.